beef bibimbap would have to be one of my favorite Korean dishes. There's a small little hole in the wall place in Adelaide that I love to go to and have this as a cheeky lunch. I think there's about eight seats in this restaurant. It's a family run business and they make the best version of. So this is my take on using lots of beautiful traditional Japanese flavors. Of course, gochujang, a beautiful Japanese sauce, sweet and sour. We've got some honey, soy, ginger, sesame, garlic, obviously our beef, lots of vegetables, rice, and then a fried egg on top. Now I've just got some beef sirloin steak here. You could use any cut of beef that's a really nice, fast, quick cooking primary cut. We're gonna go in with some ginger and some garlic as well. Now you could marinate your beef overnight as well if you wanted to. Otherwise, we're adding so much flavor into this that you could honestly just do it right before you cook off the beef. I've added a bit of sugar in there. I'm gonna go in with some sesame oil and we'll go in next with some soy sauce. Give that a really good stir and marry all those flavors together. Now, if you didn't want to have this with beef, you could use chicken, of course. Pork would be lovely. Tofu as well. Now I'm just gonna pop this just to the side. That is ready to go while we get onto our next part. So in a nice hot fry pan, I'm just going to go in with a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. You could use any oil of your choice for this. Now, usually at home, I'd cook these off separately when I've got lots of time, but in the markets, I like quick cooking. So I'm actually gonna saute all these vegetables off together. So I've got some julienne zucchini, got some carrots as well and I've got some rehydrated shiitake mushrooms here. They can go straight in. And we're just going to let them do their thing, start to cook down. I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt. Nice high heat. And then we can start to toss and marry our vegetables together. So that's kind of a little set and forget happening over there. Next, we'll make our gochujang sauce, which is going to dress this whole dish. So we want lots of punchy flavors in this one. So I've got our gochujang. That will go straight into a mixing bowl. Good amount of that. We've got some soy sauce. That can go straight in. Some sesame oil. A Little bit of honey, just for sweetness. That can go straight in. Some ginger. And then we've got lots of sweet and salty flavors. We're gonna go in with a little bit of just white vinegar. You could use rice vinegar as well. I'm going to grab a whisk and just whisk our sauce together. Now you could make a really big batch of this beautiful gochujang dressing and actually keep it in a jar in the fridge. You could pour this over some roast meat, glaze a ham with it, brush it over some salmon and cook that on the barbecue. It's a really nice versatile sauce and you can see from that gochujang, that beautiful deep red colour that is. So our beef is marinating, our sauce is ready to go. We'll just finish off these vegetables. We'll start to fry an egg and then we can bring this bibimbap together. So our vegetables are done. I'm just going to set them to the side now. Our fry pan is going to go back on the heat and we want to get this nice and hot again. Just a tiny drizzle of olive oil into the pan and we're going to cook off our beef. So you want this on a really nice high heat. If you've got a barbecue at home, absolutely cook it on the barbecue outside, get it really nice and charred, smoky and hot. Just give that a little spread out and we're just going to leave it just to get a really nice caramelization. And then the one thing I love about bibimbap, other than my steam facial right now, is that you can really use any vegetables on hand. I don't know if this is working. <laughs> you can use any vegetables on hand to go into this dish, which is fantastic. So if you've got any sad veggies at the bottom of the crisper or anything in the freezer that needs to be used up, this is a dish to do it with. The beef is ready. I'm going to give it a really quick toss. Beautiful. And you can see all that caramelization. Now, I want to have a little bit of pink inside of that steak. So I'm just going to turn that off now. You know what? I'll take it off, actually. We'll put it straight back into the bowl. I'm going to cook our eggs. I'm going to fry my eggs now. So just in a nice hot pan, we'll crack an egg in. One egg per serve is absolutely ample. 
little sprinkle of salt on top and some sesame seeds as well. Just a nice amount for colour and flavour. And while that is cooking, it's time to start plating. So a nice bowl here. I've got some rice that we've just allowed to cool. Sushi rice is absolutely fine for this. So I'm going to add a good amount of rice to the bottom of our bowl. This is a really generous rice bowl. So we're going to grab a nice amount of our beautiful sauteed veggies. They can go on one side. You want to be able to see everything that's in this bowl as well. Get some spinach, good amount of spinach, some beautiful bean sprouts for a nice crunch, some of our beautiful beef, and you can see all those beautiful juices in there that's come out from our marinade. Our beef goes on just like that. So our egg can come out. You can see how beautiful and crispy that is. And I'm gonna try to not break this yolk. That can go straight on the top like that. And then of course, some of our beautiful gochujang sauce. And I just like to spoon a really nice amount straight on top, just like that. A little extra sprinkle of some sesame seeds. And that is a really delicious, wholesome Korean gochujang bibimbap.